Hey everybody, how's it going? Mork here, and we're back with some more inscription. Uh, we've done these decks already, so we're missing with the vanilla deck and the goat deck. This video is not gonna have like any background music or anything like that, so feel free to turn up your own music. And uh, today I'm feeling like going for the vanilla. I think it's like a real shame that uh, the developers uh, nerfed the Stoat card with the iconic 1-3 stat line. I'm not really sure what you're like, supposed to do with this one too, to be honest. Not to mention the card also got nerfed. Uh, it doesn't tell you when you made a misplay, so you know, that kind of sucks. Well, let's pick the vanilla and uh, we'll pick... 120 points there you go there you go there you go 120 challenge points which is also kind of like for the achievement uh so let's go hello hello <clears throat> well let's see what we can do if anything uh, we have a possibility for an early pet track. It's something to think about. I don't know if we even want to go this way. Because we have this guy here. We have another pack here. I might just go left, to be honest, to make my deck smaller with a sacrifice. Uh, we would like to go to the flames as well. well let's go here first. Let's see what we can get. Ooh, oh my lord. So we we have a cockroach, so we're getting the cockroach. And we can combine it with corpse maggots. I mean, that's a possibility. That's a thing we can do. Um... Alternatively, I think we should just do like a beehive cockroach combo. I think we should just do beehive cockroach combo and it's gonna be incredibly powerful. Uh, yep, I agree with myself. So we kind of won this run already. I'm kind of feeling the left side, honestly. Because we are gonna have the beehive cockroach combo. And we already have also like some lizards, some wolfies, so we might find some like other like combos and stuff. Let's go here first. And we're passing the cockroach sigil on a beehive. And beehive is gonna be basically our engine. Uh, we might also look for another beehive. This fight should be incredibly easy. It's insects, uh, hopefully they're not flying. I think they are. Yeah, they are flying. And this is fine. This is fine. Um, I'm gonna overkill them, honestly. Why not? And we got the beehive. Hmm. Um, yeah, this is still fine. Uh, we can arguably play Great White, that is actually a possibility. We also got Rat King. <sighs> I don't hate the, like, the mealworm idea either, to be honest. 
I think we kind of are able to play this great white, but we really need a beehive. Really need to draw the beehive. Right now we're kind of looking to remove the stoat and bullfrog from the deck. I'm gonna go ahead and pick the great white. It's gonna be like our late game once we farm the bees and stuff. Carver, let's go. We're kind of lo uh, looking for the... Oh, these are all bad, actually. We got all bad stuff. Um, all of this is just unusable. So we just grab a random hat and we try to be happy. Uh, I'm probably gonna grab this one for some potential long elk combos. Uh, yeah, pretty much. <clears throat> So I don't think I want to like chase the woodcarver because we didn't get like a anything good out of the fight. And I think we are gonna go for the sacrifice again to make our decks even smaller. <clears throat> Flying insects as well, it kinda sucks. This time, yeah, it is. This is the only downside of Beehive, is that it cannot block flyers. Ooh, great fight. Um, we could kind of play it. But I think it's fine to also just kind of chill for now. We take four damage now. I think I think that's fine. Mm. So now we deal three damage and we take four. So we should still be fine. Uh, we we'll just stowed here. Right, we're gonna deal 3 damage, we're gonna take 4. And now we're gonna take too much damage. Um... So let's think about this. I don't think I need to do anything right now. So cuz we're going to take two damage. Uh now we should do something. I'm not sure what we're doing. Uh, I can play the Great White, really, um, and these, and I think that should be fine. The other alternative is to play the Great White here, and we can play a Squirrel uh, for Beehive, like here. But also it's just kind of fine. It's just kind of fine. Uh, not to play any of my items here. I think I'm gonna do this. Wait. Now I'm gonna do this. Uh, wait. No, this is fine. Uh, I'm gonna take just one damage because uh, it, the damage is gonna change her to one. So this should be fine. 
And this is why we grab the Great White, so that we have like some kind of a late game that we can rely on. Oh, he has one attack, and it's fine. And Tlashi should start surrendering very soon. Yeah. But we're not gonna give him the satisfaction, of course. Um... Uh, this way, because we want to make the deck, uh, we want to make the deck smaller. If we got like a beehive here, that would be kind of amazing. Um, I think at this point, I think we can grab the rattler because we're gonna have like the infinite sacrifices from bees. We should also have a lot of bones, so I think rattler is completely fine. Fine here. Uh, now we're gonna pass a sigil. What are we passing? I believe we're go we're just gonna be passing like the bullfrog sigil on something, just so that we make the deck smaller. I suppose we can pass it on the stoat, and then uh, down the line uh, sacrifice the stoat later to the bone lord. I think that's reasonable. Um. Yeah. So let's go here. Or we can go here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I kind of like this idea. I kind of like that idea. We can try uh, burning the stout. Bullfrog, and we'll put this on stout, because stout is not a good card. Yeah, we can try burning the stout. <clears throat> So some lizards, and I think we just won. Yeah, so this is like why behave is so freaking powerful. We're gonna have an infinite engine of bees, right? So what I can do, I can play this. Oh, I forgot you do that. Uh... No, I think this is just fine. No, I, I fucked it up, but it, it doesn't matter. <laughs> it doesn't matter because I have infinite bees, so I can do whatever I want. Yeah, it doesn't matter. With infinite bees. Can do what I want. Uh, we're gonna go here, and we're gonna find, try to find some kind of a sigil that we can pass either on the wolf, on the great white, or the rattler. Um, ideally something offensive. Skink. Um, I don't really care about skink, because I already have beehive. Wolverine could be usable on great white. Kingfisher. Uh, we could turn this wolf into a kingfisher, or turn this rattler into a kingfisher. I think I kind of like the turning the rattler into a kingfisher idea. We can turn this rattler into a kingfisher. We can do that. 
So let's do that. Let's think about this Wolverine. Uh, the Wolverine could go nicely with the Great White. Um, it could. Maybe we could also make the Great White flying. Uh, I'm gonna pick the King for sure. And here we'll try enhancing... Yeah, we'll try enhancing the stout. If it dies, it dies. If it doesn't die, then we're gonna have a 1-6 stout, which is pretty good. Okay, we got rid of the stout. Uh, but we still have the Kingfisher, so let's put the Kingfisher sigil on the deck. Uh, yep, we're gonna put this on the Rattler. And we're gonna have a Kingfisher Rattler. So let's take a look. See, this is my deck right now, and we just have like an infinite beehive engine. Uh, this fight might be a little bit problematic. We'll see. I'll try not to use the smoke. <clears throat> so I'm not sure how I'm gonna win this fight. I'm not sure entirely. But I think it's gonna be B related. And it's gonna be tricky. Um <laughs> I could just play the wolf. <laughs> just play the wolf and don't overthink it. Could do that. Well, we can try it. This is gonna be lethal. This is where the Rattler is. I can start grabbing these Aqua Squirrels, uh, which are gonna be like for the bait. And we're gonna pull our two for the lethal. Now this first bucket we are actually going to trigger. Uh, just so that we can have like our Beehive engine uh, running. Uh, yep. Yep. Now we're getting the beast slowly. We're gonna be fine. We're gonna be fine. Now we can even play our Rattler. And he's not gonna care about the bucket. We can also play the B. We could also play the Great White. So honestly, I might as well. <clears throat> I might as well. We didn't use the smoke. All right. And we didn't lose a life yet. So I think it's kind of working all right. Mole man. Pack rat. 
Hodak. Uh, we could try Hodak. Try getting him into big numbers. To be honest, I've never actually played Hodak. Uh, but we can try it. We have like the engine, the beehive engine for it. What if I like made like a like a great white Hodak? I don't think that's necessary because he's got five health. We'll try him out. And we got him early on, so we might be even able to like farm and stuff. The attack. And we have a card removal coming up as well. Um, do I want to remove this wolf? Well, not really, because this beehive is a little bit unreliable. And the problem that this beehive currently has is that... Um, The problem that, it, that this beehive has is flyers. So if enemy has flyers, uh, it's not gonna do anything. In that case, like the the plan just fails. Uh, we can go for here. We can go here, and then we can remove a card. If we don't like the card that we got from this cave, uh, we can just remove it, right? Yeah, let's go here, and let's try passing the trial, actually. Trial of Bones, Trial of Health. We could do the Trial of Health with Hodak. It's... Um... What about Trial of Power? think that might be a little bit more reasonable. Let's say we draw Beehive, Rattler, and Hodak. We pass it. So let's do the power. And well, let's see what we can get. Yeah, it's a pass. A possum? <laughs> uh, pronghorn and turkey vulture. Hmm... This turkey vulture seems like not bad exactly. I think this opossum might be just a little bit better. I can just sacrifice it. Uh, so I get rid of the turkey vulture. <sighs> the pronghorn doesn't make any sense. The opossum kind of makes sense. It's like a digging, digging bones thing. I do think um, that this sigil is really powerful, but this costs 8 bones, so I think it comes at a point where, where it's just kind of like a little bit too late to make some kind of funky place. We'll grab the turkey vulture, I guess, but I think we'll just, we'll just go ahead and sacrifice it. Uh, I think I would prefer having that wolf, to be honest. Yeah. I should go for the backpack. Mm. We did draw the beehive as we wanted. That's good. Uh, mm -hmm. We also have the Hodak, and Hodak can start farming rabbits and stuff. Uh, this direwolf pup may actually just kill me, so uh, that's a little bit of a problem. Well, let's do this. First things first. Save this card. Uh, we can we can play this wolf as well. 
You can also play this Great White. Well, actually, we can't play this Great White. But we can play Vespi. We can play Hodak. We can play B. I still kind of want to play... Um... I think I still want to play the wolf to get rid of the stump. So that we can deal some damage and stuff. Um, yeah. What if I just play the bee? This might be actually a better idea because I don't know if I'm capable of like racing this uh, Darewolf pup. Let's see. Uh, next turn I'm going to deal 5 damage. I can deal right now 6 damage. I mean uh, next turn 6 damage. And right now I can deal 1 damage. I think if I want to play the Great White in the future, I should be playing Beehive right now. But this is like 1 damage, so it's 5. I think this is the better play, probably. We got Rattler, so I think we can put Rattler on the pork pine here. How much damage do we have right now? Uh, one, two, three, four, five. That's this could be six, this could be seven. So I think we should just go for the kill. I don't think we should mess around, honestly. I don't want to mess around with this dire wolf. Um, our deck is really small right now. We can go for the sigil one. We should be able to pass it more or less. We'll see if we can get something or not, but I don't know. Sparrow. Oh, that's actually pretty good, the Sparrow here. This is really good. Wolverine. That's able to search for cards. Very, very good. I think I'm going to go for the Sparrow and we'll try buffing the Sparrow. In the flames. And I would like to go to the to the flames over here. Uh, we have also like dupli card duplication. Uh, we could duplicate the sparrows, maybe. I think I'm gonna go here first. So plus one attack. We I think we just kind of won this on the sparrow. Really. Um the sparrow would be really nice with this plus one attack. Now the question is, is it worth to keep going? Um if this was like free attack, this would be utterly amazing. And I don't know if two attack is good enough for my standards. I might actually just prefer uh, drawing uh, my beehive in round one. 
So I think I'm gonna go for it again. I think it's fine. I think this is fine. And I think we want to duplicate some kind of a card, but I'm not sure actually which one. Or maybe we could go to the mycologist, and the mycologist is going to give us a copy of a beehive. And then maybe we could combine it into some kind of a better beehive or something like that. Uh, let's go for the fight here first. I think this is a sort of a fight where I could actually just uh, farm <laughs> a lot for the Hodak. Uh, so let's try doing that. Uh, where do we put Hodak? I think we put him somewhere to start farming coyotes and stuff. No, I think we can just put him like here. And he's gonna start farming the coyotes. This looks good to me. Hodak should be able to get a lot of stuff going for him. I think this should be fine. Even if it does get messed up. Amazing. This is so freaking good. <laughs> this whole deck is going to be really huge. Um... I think this should be fine. Wow. That was a good farm. And I think this is where we just go for the lethal. Yeah, I think this is where we just go for the lethal. Because Hodeg is gonna murder him. Oh, I forgot the wolf is going to also kill itself. Whoops. Nine attack Hodak. Holy shit. Uh, that's a lot. <laughs> I've never seen this. This is so cool. Um, I should make him like a double attack or something like that. This would be so amazing. Wait, what if I double the Hodak? <laughs> I could do that. I should be looking to get rid of the wolf at this point and probably also the Great White. I can double the Hodak. It's so big. So freaking big. We should look for some kind of a card which would be... Uh, or we can just take a beehive. 
just take a beehive and keep our deck small. Just take a beehive and keep our deck small. Just take a beehive and keep our deck small. Yep. We have a backpack coming up, so I have to remember to use my bones. Hmm, Carver. I have to remember to use the bones. Remember to use the bones. I'm gonna just use them right away, so they don't forget. This is like a similar fight. And we're gonna set up the beehive, of course. Kodak, there he is. Um, yep, we're farming. But just two attacks here, unfortunately. Just two here. And then we'll just kill the guy. I can also play this wolf already as well. We have kind of infinite bones, which is also amazing. And... Oh. I think I messed up a little bit, but I think it's fine. Let's just play the Rattler here already. And this is what, why like the Kingfisher Sigil is so powerful. Because uh, Leshy loves Porcupines. And like your Kingfisher is going to be always more powerful. Or should be always more powerful than the Porcupine. And stuff. Uh, yeah, I guess... Let's just pass. Let's just kill the guy. I did use my bones, right? I did. I used them right away. Cool. <sighs> Sparrow. Beaver. <laughs> I don't want any of these. Uh, so let's check out our other option. I think, realistically speaking, the best option here is probably the River Snapper. I kind of don't like the uh, Sparrow idea. Well, let's look for something else. Magpie. Well, that's going to be like a 100% pick. Wolverine and a bat. I think we'll just go for the magpie, because magpie is just that good. We could go... I'll grab the magpie. There's no question about it. Um... I could go for this. Could go for that. Mm, Boulder is also not irrelevant. Actually, I think this is the play. I think this is the play in case we come up against Lushy's Flyers. And we can just remove the flying from, from them. And in that case, they'll be able to activate our beehive and we can get our deck going. So I think this is the play. And I think I can grab this one as well. Now let's see what we can get. We got the insect sigil. 
Oh, and we also get the protection from flying. So here... Um, I'm kind of leaning more towards going for this one. Because we really want to get this flying protection going on our beehive. And we might be able to pick up the, the insect head later on. And hunt for it. So I'll grab this. <clears throat> and hopefully we'll get the head later. If we don't, then that's unfortunate. So this should be just when. Yeah. I suppose this is a question of uh, how much we can farm with Hodak. Probably just the kills. I can just chill. I can just chill. Just watch what Lechi does. I just want to put Hodek in a in a lane where um I'll be able to I'll be able to kill two units. So like here, and I think that's ideal. Uh, yep. So we get some hodek farming. And we can put the bees here as well. Birding attack. It's pretty good. <laughs> the thing is, this guy might as well have like infinite attack. It doesn't matter because there's only so much health uh, that Lashi works with. So we attack here. He changes Hodak into gold. Question is if how much I wanna farm this. Um I think I might as well just finish it all. I have twenty five right now. Amoeba, child 13, strange larva. Let's probably grab Amoeba. And we can pass the magpie sigil uh, on the Amoeba. Yeah, I think I like the idea. Or we could play strange larva and pass the magpie sigil on strange larva. I'll grab the Amoeba, I think. And we will want to pass the Mac Bicycle on the Amoeba. Uh, we don't really need the back, back rat anymore.
Do I try getting rid of some of the cards? Yes, I actually do want to kind of get rid of this wolf at this point. I don't think this wolf does nearly as enough as he used to. He's getting a little bit old. Uh, I think we'll, we'll go for the cave trial. And we might actually just try to intentionally fail it. I think that might be the play, just trying to intentionally fail it. But I don't know <laughs> I don't know if it is even possible for me to do. Um, so maybe I'm actually just better off going for here and maybe trying to find some kind of a Hodex sigil. Which would be able to uh, get these stats, make use of these stats. I'm gonna go here. Trial of Health, Trial of Wisdom, Trial of Kin. So I think we are able to fail the Trial of Kin, correct? Yeah, I think we are able to fail the Trial of Kin, so let's fail it. Yeah. And I think we're going to be boosting our wolf here. Yeah. And by boosting our wolf, we'll try killing it, of course. It's dead. Because we have, like, better cards at this point, you know? So, wait, our Hodak could be, like, the moon killer, right? So the 13 attack does actually matter a little bit. We can duplicate him, actually, as well. And we should be fine, because this is going to get our engine going. Hmm. Hodek can actually farm up here quite uh, a bit of stuff. It's not bad. There he is. There he is. Um, yeah, let's keep going. Amazing. 15 attack. Maybe we can even get him to like 20. That would be cool. That would be really freaking cool. Oh, amazing. Amazing, because I forgot about this feature. And we'll put our beehive down again. And Hodak is gonna farm some more. 20 attack. Almost 20 attack. Amazing. Uh, boom. Ooh. Oh, oh, oh. I think we can do something cute. We can do something cute. We can attack this elk. This elk is gonna like split here. And we're gonna be able to kill the alpha and the elk. This is so adorable. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, we're gonna need to, you to use the great fight, uh, great fight for that, for this cute combo. This is absolutely adorable. What I'm doing in this game right now, so cute. There you go. Twenty-one attack. Twenty-one attack. If this guy had a double attack, we would be able to one-shot the moon. How cool is that? Um.
49 overkill damage. He counted. Counted, bro. <laughs> This is so freaking cool. Oh, uh, wow. We'll probably go for the trial again. We'll try failing it again. With trial of Ken. Yeah. yeah. Let's go for the trial of Ken. We'll keep the deck small. What kind of cards do I want to duplicate and then make big? Holy shit. I can duplicate Hodak and then I can combine them into making like the biggest Hodak possible. Are you kidding me? Oh, oh shit. Stop it. This is crazy. Yes, I duplicate it. One shotting the moon. Oh, that's disgusting. Not well, this is one of the counters. Oh, my lord. At least, at least they are Raven X, if they weren't Raven X. And at least there's like a Wolf Cup as well. I can remove the this stuff as well. This crazy sigil. So first, we just put this here. And we start farming the bees. But this is a little bit crazy. So we got the B. And I think we also want to play the Great White here. When we kill the Raven Egg. Yeah, 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 yeah. We have to kill this raven egg. I don't care. And we have a lethal coming up with the hoed egg. This is so crazy. This is the craziest thing I've actually done in this. Well, it's not the craziest. I've done crazier stuff actually, but this is amazing. Uh, this is why I love Inscription, you know. It has like moments like these. And Lushy is like also really into that, just like me. Uh, there's the other Hodak. <gasps> I can farm. Oh my lord, oh my lord, is this gonna be the biggest attack Hodak ever? Now, I, I would still love to have like the double attack sigil on Hodak. That would be still an amazing thing to have. <sighs> we'll go here. Do I just look for the double attack sigil then? I think I should just pick some kind of a cute KOD and be try to be happy about it. What about this Wolverine? It doesn't do anything. What about the Sparrow? I could pass the Magpie sigil on the Sparrow. I could put the Sparrow sigil on the... I don't want a Sparrow because I have a Beehive.
Probably just, let's just pick the coyote. Or we could also pick the wolverine. I'm gonna pick the coyote. Oh my lord. What if... What if Leshy duplicates my Hodax? Like, do, do they keep the, the stat line? I don't think they keep the stat line because I think this guy just offers like brand new cards. I think what I'm more interested in going to is here or, or the Carver for the flying sigil protection on those uh, beehives. I guess this is going to be the thumbnail. I don't know. This is amazing. I want to see this, actually. 45 attack. <sighs> Orgasmic. Uh, oh, we have a, c a sacrifice. That's so good. So we can do, what we can do is like go here, go here, go here, or here, or here, here, here. Okay, deadly deer that's okay i think because they yeah i think this is fine this is fine this is fine you can kill the beehive i don't care so hold egg here Gonna do some killing. Hmm. I guess we're just killing Leshy here. Let's be real. We're just killing Leshy here. I got an idea with Hodak. That's gonna be interesting. Maximum overkill. We'll play this coyote and this amoeba. Oh, I messed it up. I was supposed to play the bee there. I'm silly. Sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> 117. It's pretty good. Okay, so how do I do this? First of all, we're gonna grab this. We could just sacrifice the coyote just to get rid of him. And then we can pass the mech by sigil on the, amoeba, on the amoeba here. But let's see what we have. Let's see if we can get. Red Heart, Lammergeier, Turkey Vulture. Lammergeier kind of makes sense, doesn't it? We have so many bones. I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to sacrifice the coyote. I'm going to put the mech by sigil on the amoeba. And I think we should be fine. I can just pick the Lammergeier. So let's remove, uh, let's remove the thing. Let's remove that poor coyote. 
Coyote, Coyote, where are you? Here you are. Bone, bone, bone. Uh, I mean, alternatively, I can just grab the Lammergeier. But I think Lammergeier is going to be more useful than a Coyote. I will pass the Magpie Sigil on the Amoeba, it's extremely important. Extremely important. Yep, yep, yep. All of this looks correct to me. I can't. This is so freaking cool. This is the coolest thing ever. I, I love this Hodak. <sighs> uh, I think we should be fine. We'll just basically farm up some bees. That's about it. Uh, it's not like a rocket science or anything. We'll take the damage. Hmm. Wait. I can kind of die, no? I think I can kind of die. So I think I should get rid of the sigils here. I think I should get rid of the sigils. Because when this bee attacks, it's gonna take some damage. And that's a problem. Or I can just use this one. No, I think I'm gonna... I think I'm gonna get rid of this. And that should fix that issue. I don't know if the strange frog trap spawns. Without a sigil. I think it might. Yes. So we're gonna have to win this fight with the Lumbergeier. Um Which is fine. I wonder if I get like one more attack here from from killing the leaping trap. Do I get it? It looks like I don't. Hmm. I might just not have enough wolf belts and stuff. This guy is not gonna have any attack. I think what I'm supposed to do is something like this.
I'm gonna have to get carried by bees here. Uh, which is fine. Another wolf belt, it's okay. Oh, I need to get rid of this guy. For sure, I believe. Maybe both of these. All right, uh, I'm going to draw a card. And Lamberger is going to finish the job as like the alternative win condition. Yep. Let's just go. <laughs> oh, pelt flies! Amazing, we got the pelt flies. Spellflies is absolutely amazing because we can pass it on Hodak and then we can get the double attack Hodak, which is going to be perfect. And we also have Long Elk, but we don't care about Long Elk. Spellflies, absolutely amazing. Uh, th this run is so beautiful. I, I can't. So we just passed the Pelt Lace Sigil on the Hodak. This is the coolest thing ever. <sighs> We're just gonna destroy Lashi. This is gonna be awesome. Uh, but just to summarize uh, this run, basically uh, we never used the the extra flame. We never lost a life, so it was like almost like we played with one candle only. Uh, but yeah, let's just grab this hodak and let's finish this game. I mean, I can't do it right now because I need to get the engine going first. Mantis got. What if I lose here? Wouldn't that really suck? That would suck quite badly. I might have to actually use the smoke here. It all depends if we manage to draw the Hodak here or not. Okay, we got the, the, the Amoeba. Ooh, we got the Amoeba, so we're fine. Uh, we, we're fine.
tabletek holdek. Cool. And this should be fine. And we're just going to finish him off with Hodak. This is so freaking cool. Goodbye. This was so awesome. Uh, misplay six, amazing. Anyway, uh, this was such a good run. Thank you guys for watching. Um, this was actually the first time I actually played Hodak, and wow, what a crazy, crazy run. Uh, but yeah, thank you guys for watching and have a good rest of the day. Bye bye.